You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we have got to talk about Jordan Howard's disgusting plan for little Harrison Abbott and why Claire Grace Newman may take drastic action to stop her great aunt once and for all. Is Claire going to take down the villain herself to protect that little boy? We are going to talk about all that, but please click subscribe if you have not done so already. So on Monday's episode of Young and the Restless, Jordan Howard snuck into the Abbott mansion, which apparently has terrible security equal to the Newman's security. I mean, because Considering how wealthy these people are, you'd think they would have, you know, door alarms, guards, things like that. Jordan chloroformed her great niece, Claire, and then also snatched Kyle Abbott and Summer Newman's son, Harrison Abbott. And it looks like she didn't take the kid for ransom or anything. It looks like Jordan has a much more disturbing plan in mind for that little boy. Because on the Tuesday U.S. episode of YNR, Jordan tells Harrison his parents don't want him anymore, so she's going to raise him and refers to herself as his aunt Jordan. So this nut job is trying for a redo of what she did to Claire that absolutely ruined that young woman's life. Remember, Jordan stole Claire from the hospital and convinced Victoria and Cole that their daughter died. That way, Jordan could raise Claire to use as a tool for revenge on people that she hated. And just like she told Harrison, way back in the day, Jordan told Claire the same thing, that her parents threw her away and she was the only one who loved Claire and cared enough to raise her and wanted her. Of course, it was all lies, trickery, gaslighting over a period of about 25 years. And now it looks like Jordan Howard is hitting the reset button. Clearly, things have not gone the way that Jordan planned because Claire is now embracing the Newmans. She's been accepted by them and she's moving on with her life without her great aunt Jordan. And really, her aunt could have taken Harrison and just knocked Claire out and left her behind. But I feel like Jordan took her great niece with her to implicate her in the crime and tarnish her in the eyes of the Newman and Abbott families. If you remember, Claire Grace has talked a lot about what Jordan put her through growing up, all the lies she was told, and how she was made to feel unworthy and unloved by her parents, Colin Victoria. And now it looks like Jordan's ready to do the same thing all over again with little Harrison Abbott. On Tuesday's episode, she has the kid at this ratty hotel room, and he asks her to let him go home to his parents. And that's when Jordan starts the same kind of brainwashing she pulled with Claire as a child. But we do not see Claire herself on Tuesday's episode. So it's not entirely clear if Jordan has Claire in another room at the hotel or dumped her off somewhere or maybe has her tied up in the bathroom or something. They have made a very, very big deal lately on YNR about Claire wanting to work with children. Remember how much she cares about kids, although Summer was quick to point out that nobody in their right mind would let someone with Claire's track record around their kids. But then Kyle Abbott did just that when he let Claire spend unsupervised time with Harrison. And that's when Jordan got to the two of them. Although none of this is Claire's fault, as I predicted, the family is divided on whether she might be Jordan's co-conspirator in the kidnapping. Victoria and Cole seem pretty certain, as does Nikki, that this is all Jordan and that Harrison is just collateral damage. Meanwhile, Kyle is actually entertaining the option that Harrison might have been the target because his family's wealthy and Claire was collateral damage because they didn't see Jordan. They just saw this like flower van and they can't tell who's driving. So the bottom line, Claire is going to be horrified that her great aunt Jordan kidnapped Harrison and seems to be planning a fate for him like what she did to Claire. And of course, Claire is not going to let that happen to that precious little boy. She already cares about Harrison. He adores her. She will do anything to protect him. So I think Claire 
could go all the way and take Jordan's life. If it comes down to a life and death thing and it's going to be Harrison or it's going to be Jordan, I could totally see Claire taking out her great great aunt like the trash that she is. And if you wonder, is Claire Grace Howard Newman capable of taking a life? Well, consider this. That's basically what Jordan raised her to do. She was supposed to be an implement of revenge and destruction, a tool to help Jordan get paid back on the Newmans. And if you recall, Claire drugged Nikki, kidnapped her, hooked her up to that vodka IV after weeks of lying to her grandmother and setting her up to take this huge fall, knowing that was her grandmother. And then when the rest of the family showed up to the lake house in Oregon, Claire gave them all poisoned water bottles. And if they had not been able to convince her to give them the antidote at the last minute, Claire would have wiped out most of of her family on the Newman side. She would have been the one to kill them. That included both of her parents, one of her uncles, and her grandparents. So yes, I absolutely do think that Claire is capable of taking a life. I think she's demonstrated it. I think she's capable of taking several lives if she had the proper motivation. Up until Claire got that serious psychotherapy recently, her sole motivation in life was making her Aunt Jordan happy by pursuing this nasty revenge plan on the Newmans. But now I think Claire actually has has more motive to kill someone because she knows what Jordan is capable of. There is no way that Claire is going to let Jordan steal Harrison away from Summer and Kyle and give him the same sort of twisted childhood she had full of lies and hate and gaslighting, right? While Victor and Jack are following up every lead to try and get to Harrison and Claire and save them from Jordan, maybe it will be clear. Claire, who saves Harrison by taking Jordan down once and for all. I am very interested in her having sort of a redemption arc, and I I can envision that that's why the writers had Harrison kidnapped also when he's not a Newman, so it, it is a little bit of a stretch for Jordan to have taken him, but to set up Claire saving someone's life, an innocent child is definitely the best way to get redeemed for saving them. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Claire may kill Jordan to save Harrison from the same fate that she suffered as a child? Be sure and drop your comments below. Click subscribe if you've not and come back every day because we are here talking Young and the Restless seven days a week. And this is your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt on your number one soap opera spoilers channel on YouTube. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 